It might not last for long, but the heat is back. Temperatures across much of Metro Vancouver pushing above 30 degrees as a two-day heat wave bakes much of the province. You know, overheating is not good for anyone. Eh? get sick and end up in the hospital. Widespread heat warnings are in effect again, including here in White Rock, where many flock to the water and shade. I'm pretty fair skinned, so it's pretty rough on me, man. But uh, just getting in the water is super important. That's why we're at the pier today. It's really, really important to stay hydrated, you know, and be outside where it's nice and cool in the shade. Stay in the shade, though. Especially when you got one of these shirts. <laughs> Cooling centers have been activated in communities across Metro Vancouver and the Fraser Valley, with health officials urging people to check on the most vulnerable, including seniors and people with disabilities, messaging not lost on residents like Rose Ramatilla. I have a sister who's got polio. She's a quadriplegic. And um, yeah, I'm always calling her, making sure she stays cool with the fan, you know, hydrated. And don't forget about the pets. I give her a lot of water and um, I feed her healthy food like frozen watermelon. Temperatures are expected to cool across much of BC by Friday. In the interior, where wildfires continue to burn, the heat wave could be followed by thunderstorms. It's going to be a bit of a tricky weather pattern this week with the couple of days of heat followed by those unsettled conditions in the interior, which uh, isn't a good combination for the wildfire situation. Fire officials say both heat waves and storms have contributed to a recent surge in fires, but a slow start to the season means crews are fresh and most fires contained. We haven't been fatigued and worn out through three months of these fires. A short-lived burst of heat, but summer isn't over, and Environment Canada says more heat warnings could be on the way in the weeks ahead. John Hernandez, CBC News, White Rock.